Previously, on Resident Evil 2. Ada, wait! What did you tell them? What was that? All right, I'm going. <laughs> she was at like a light. She's like, sewer, I'm on it. Get me that dank ass cave. Manhole opener. Hmm. For opening all of your manholes. Gross. Yeah, I guess we'll take it. Freaking fine. I'm gonna regret that, aren't I? I'm gonna be like, God, I need space for something. Don't let me forget I had that, by the way. The, uh, the film. Because if I get a chance to develop it, I will. Because I very frequently forget to develop that film. I'm just gonna go ahead and open this mantle. Great. And I'm not gonna tempt fate. We, we did that with Claire, if I remember. No, we didn't do that with Claire. I did that on stream, and I regretted it, like, instantly. Oh god, these assholes. Whenever the game gives you anti-venom, blue herbs, it's because some asshole spider is nearby. Or some creature that can poison you. Okay. We've saved, taken care of some business, and... I am carrying the three of the plugs for reasons. They're used here, and I don't want to have to haul them around later. And this is kind of like a free opportunity to toss them into the, the system. Now I don't have to worry about them hogging it up valuable inventory space. Brilliant. Ada. Ada? I don't think I've introduced myself yet. My name's Leon. I'm with the RPD. It's, she's like, yeah, whatever. It's a dead end. You think we can get upstairs through this shaft? Give me a boost. I'll go and check. Interest uh oh, don't look up, Leon. Oh, you kinky boy, you. Oh, I hope you memorize that, cuz... Oh. That little girl. How cute. Yeah. That little girl must have dropped this. I think I'll hold on to it for her. Aww. Well, that's very nice of you, Ada. Wearing the, the pendant now. Sherry sure is a, a klutz when it comes to dropping things. Now, Ada, big surprise is a bit of a badass. I feel as though she can fire her pistol faster. She's got the same pistol that uh, Claire does. Um, the, the Browning High Power? Yeah. But like, she holds it differently. She fires it faster. She's like, Claire, this is how you do it. You, first, you start by not being terrible at everything with all your guns, okay? And then, then she she puts a little bit of sauce on the the targeting system, which is great. Anything that gives uh, 
these early Resident Evils, uh, a little bit of personality, the better. Like, look, 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 look. She's got a slight angle. She's like, not quite gangster. Okay, she, yeah. She doesn't aim down at an angle, but she's all like, I will, I will execute you, uh, proper. And if you've just played this game, or, or any Resident Evil for the first time, and you don't know about Ada Wong, this is like one of your few cues that, like, she's more than meets the eye. And not even just because she's wearing some kind of, like, red cocktail dress. Which they're doing away with in the, uh, in the remake. To, to make it less cartoony. I guess they're, she's, they're giving her like a trench coat or something like that. But yeah, just, just imagine you've seen Ada for the first time. Um, she's asking these questions like, What did you tell them, Ben? Like, really cold. And you're, you don't really have a whole lot of her motivation. Like, let's say you've only played the first Resident Evil, then you know Ada's name. Um, you've, you've heard it, or you've read it in a document. Uh, Ada's name was the password of one of the researchers there. Um, which, I don't know if coincidence or genius, but the, the writers did a pretty good job of tying things together in that way. Like, giving a small nod to the original game, while also being like, Hey, she knows people in Umbrella, um, she's going out with them, and she's in a prime position to get information. Oh, by the way, spoilers, Ada's a spy. She's a, she's a trained spy. Um, at this point in... Capcom's writing repertoire. I don't think she's necessarily working for anyone in particular. Later, they make it sound like she was always working for Wesker or something like that. They got they got really stupid with their writing, and mm, I don't like don't like it all. But at the moment, she's a spy. She's uh, getting information. She's acquiring resources, whatever. Leon, can you hear me? Ada, did you find anything? Right here. Think fast. Here's one more. You're cute. Hey, I can't reach the ventilation hole. I'm going to have to find another way around. I'll catch up with you later. What? Ada, wait! I mean, what were you gonna do, man? Leon, come in. I found the girl, and I cleared the wreckage that was blocking the corridor. Got it. Oh, that's right. He doesn't have to worry about the C4 and detonator because he doesn't meet up with Chief Irons. All right, I'll take the club key. We going clubbing. It's gonna be a whole lot of fun. Single tapping them because for the most part you don't need to hit these dogs with more than one bullet. You could be wasting out doing that. But these guys just one bullet's enough to stun them. Oh, hi, more zombies. It's hard to tell. 
hell. Okay, yeah, you're dead. I know I was using Leon's ankles. Get fucked. Oh, there's another one. What? You fucking iframes. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. Everything about everything has made me enraged. Oh, that also makes me upset. Ugh. Okay, we're just gonna hobble around uselessly for a minute. Okay, and no zombies gonna be crawling out of there. You take the red key card? Yeah. We're gonna have to deal with this bullshit for a hot minute. Hopefully there's no new zombies or dogs or whatever out here now. Never know what this came. I have one and done this like three times in a row as far as I'm concerned. Uh, up. Down. Okay. That's what I get for being cocky. What? Slightly low. So what I wind up doing now is I will separate some stacks. and You, you can't do that in the game's mechanics, unless you place them differently in the item box. So if you pick up a, a fresh stack of shotgun shells, for example, you have to set them um, separately from your main stack, like you saw me do. And then you can use that down to zero, and then you'd have space. Of course, it's completely unnecessary. It's the the game design for this game is now uh, the the whole package comes together. You get the the item box, the um, typewriter, uh, and the ink ribbon all in one one setting. Now, in Leon's or Claire's A scenario, we left the the satchel here, the side pack, or whatever you want to call it, and the submachine gun's gone, because Claire took it. And now, Leon has all this glorious space. Oh, it's ba basking, it's wonderful. Oh, it's cool. Yes. Thank fucking God. For whatever reason, it feels like Leon just struggles with item management just a little bit more than Claire. Which is funny, because Claire gets the grenade launcher, which has every flavor of grenade associated with it. So you'd think that she'd have more troubles, but nah. Nah. She's generally okay. Oh, down in front, boys! Oh my god! Okay, okay, there's there's too much of this going on. I'm gonna go ahead and use a shell. Maybe two. I'll use two. Hey. Good stuff. Now that we're going through the, the precinct again, some areas are going to have new zombies. Is there anything here that I need to worry about? 
Kraken chills. I'll have that. Thank you much. Interesting. This room's entirely optional. I mean, a, a magazine of magnum ammo is nothing to sneeze at. Okay, he's not carrying any ammo, but... Jeez, that was like 14 shotgun shells and a magazine of magnum ammo? Hell yeah, I'll take that. Optional, but not really. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yes, please. Especially considering we recently uh, just had our ass chewed out. Figuratively. Because there's no time for that, Leon. I don't care what kind of kinks you got. There's no time for it. Is this place booming again? Oh. Some of the zombies are repositioned. Oh, fuck. Oh, we took the arm off. That's gross. Alright, let's go ahead and get ready for the worst. Because that's exactly what's about to happen. I should be using the Magnum. I should be using the Magnum. I should be using the Magnum. Oh god. Okay, there's the, the sprocket. I can light a fire here. Finally! Get to use the, the lighter again. Okay, what... What did this have to say? I actually anticipated there to be a liquor here. A picture of a man in the carriage. Something on the wheel. Light the queen, the king, and the jack. The queen, the king, and the jack. Short-term memory don't fail me now. And we get there. What do we get for our troubles? A sprocket! And... Our good friend, Mr. X! Uh, how good to see you again, Mr. X. I shouldn't have shot you. I shouldn't have shot you, it's just gonna piss you off. Cheese it! Ah, oh, damn. Mr. X, you are something of a bastard. I gotta say, I gotta say. Well, thankfully, that nightmare is over. And we don't have to deal with them anymore. Right? Wrong! Mr. X is eternally a bastard. Ow, fuck. That's easily a concussion right there, Leon. Oh, get juice, nerd. Ow. Okay, we put several shells into him. Let's take him down with the pistol now. Since we are pretty wounded. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh. God damn, that feels good. Chuck and chills. Okay, we have 25. How much does this give us? Yeah, that's that's a good shit. Seven though. It's not not like it was a lot. And I believe it's with Mr. X here that the idea for the nemesis was born. Like Mr. X added this level of intrigue, of constantly being hunted. And God. Damn, they carried that to the promised land. Resident Evil 3 is amazing. All right, with with the cog in hand, we need to find the crank. Uh-oh. Where's the crank at? Uh-oh. We might need to go hunting for it. 
Well, I've balled this up.